Dear Mr. Chairman, dear colleagues, let me introduce you with my presentation on the topic proliferation of osteoblasts on nanostructured titanium implants with laser texturing. At the beginning of my presentation, I'd like to tell some words about the history of dental implantology. The history of dental implants starts, uh, started uh, in ancient Egypt. Uh, different seashells and stones were used to replace missing teeth. One of the most important um, developments in the modern implantology was occurred in 1957. Uh, Swedish surgeon uh, Per Ingva Branimark had discovered the uh, biocompatible properties of the titanium. And since that time, um, titanium had become the main material for manufacturing of the dental implants. And the, the aim of our study, the aim of our study is to compare cell adhesion and proliferation of osteoblasts on nanostructured titanium implants of two different grades and with different surface treatment. Uh, the samples of titanium materials were flat discs, four millimeters in height and five millimeters in diameter, manufactured by Tonin from rods produced by the equal channel angular pressing method on a continuous extrusion machine. There are four grades of uh, commercially pure titanium, uh, numbered one to four, according to their purity and um, process oxygen content. There are also differences in, uh, difference in some uh, mechanical properties, such as strength, corrosion resistance, and elongation. Um, you can see some details of this uh, process. Uh, titanium mass is going through the channel and the grain size is reducing. The aim of this method uh, is uh, redu reducing of the grain size from microstructure to nanostructure. Uh, on this slide you can see the difference um, between basic pure titanium and nanostructured titanium. You can see the, the result of uh, uh, this process. Uh, the main difference in average grain size, basic pure titanium has average grain size about 54 micrometers and nanostructured titanium uh, has average grain size about uh, 220 nanometers. Um, to compare cell adhesion and proliferation, um, six different versions of implants were used. Uh, nanostructured titanium grade two and nanostructured titanium grade four with three different surfaces, without surface treatment, with laser yak treatment, and with uh, the treatment by the la femtosecond laser. We have five samples of each type. Each sample was uh, sterilized by 70% ethanol before use. Uh, here are examples of uh, nanostructured titanium discs. Uh, you can see the surface without surface treatment, uh, the surface with laser treatment, and uh, surface treated with femtosecond laser. Um, the estimation of adaptability was performed uh, by the measuring of the water contact angle of the water sessile drop. If the angle alpha is larger than 90 degrees, the surface is considered as hydrophobic. Uh, otherwise, the surface can be regarded as hydrophilic. And the results of uh, the wettability measurement mm, are uh, all the samples are comparable. And uh, according to our measurements, um, femtosecond laser um, implants have a smaller angle and uh, greater wettability. Purchased human osteoblast cell, uh, like cell line MG63 obtained uh, from osteosarcoma was used uh, for our experiment. Um, Cultivations were performed uh, under the standard conditions. Um, cell adhesion and proliferations was evaluated by using of cell counting kit 8. This method is based on the ability of viable cells to reduce 
what a soluble tetrazoleum salt to uh, an orange formazan product. Uh, the amount of this formazan product is directly proportional to the number of uh, living cells. Uh, 200, uh, 2,000 cells were seeded per implant, and the cell adhesion was uh, evaluated after 24 hours after seeding, and cell proliferation uh, was uh, measured after 48 hours and after 160 hours. Uh, for visual evaluation of the number of living cells, um, cells were stained with Nuc Blue Life Ready probes after 168 hours after seeding. Uh, this dye visualizes core when bound to DNA and uh, the blue fluorescence is observed. And now the results of our study. After 168 hours, um, nanostructured implants grade four showed uh, the better proliferation and uh, you can see this difference on the pictures below with nuke blue stained cells. Uh, on this slide, you can see the detailed picture of um, the cells uh, stained with nuke blue after 168 hours uh, after cultivation. You can see a great amount of cells on nanostructured titanium grade four. And um, uh, I'd like to admit that uh, femtosecond laser um, on, the second, uh, on the femtosecond laser, there um, uh, had worse proliferation. A little conclusion: all samples have worse proliferation, have uh, worse uh, initial adhesion uh, in compared with the plastic control after. 408 hours, uh, there is no significant differences between all the samples, and after 168 hours, uh, nanostructured titanium grade four uh, samples have the highest levels of cell proliferation. Uh, but uh, femtosecond laser treatment implants uh, have greater wettability, but at the same time, uh, they have proliferation in uh, the group with same compared with the same materials. Another stitch. <laughs> Conclusions: All studied surfaces are biocompatible and not toxic for cells. Nanostructured titanium grade four implants have the best proliferation. Surfaces treated by the femtosecond laser show enhanced wettability, and uh, we wait for the results of another assay, which is connected with the studying of uh, the antibacterial properties of uh, femtosecond treated uh, titanium implants. Uh, all study surfaces are suitable for further testing of biocompatibility and also integration in vivo. Thank you for attention.